Alright, uh, how do I start? Well, this one is really awful, man. Look at this video. Uh, I bought this, it just came in today. Today is uh, 1 31 2020. And uh, I had a dash cam before, two years ago, and this one looked exactly like it, has exact same spec. But this one was not close to what I had. Uh, can barely even see. Look, it's not. It, they said it was 1080p, but uh, it's 720. I have the numbers. <clears throat> and take a look. It's all it said 30 frames per second, but I highly doubt that's 30 frames. You can see it uh, all um, wobbly there and stuff. Uh, it's trying to compensate. Just awful. Can't even see the the, the front of the hood. It's all, it's not even wide, wide angle. Um, it's just terrible. I'll do a little comparison of my old one. Um, two years ago, it has the same spec, it looks exactly like it. Uh, this, this one came from, uh, it's called, uh, Morigo. A seller is, uh, seller's name is Mariyuki, M-E-I-R-U-I-K-E, -I, -E, I believe. But, this is just terrible, terrible footage. And uh, driving out here in California, take a look at this. Just people, people drive so awful. <laughs> but here we go. It could. By the time I get this close, yes, you could make up the, you know, some plate numbers and stuff. But this is just unbelievable. I mean, you get what we, you get what you pay for. But to add a little bit more, you could have just gotten a, a much better quality. Um, the camera did not look what it is on the box. The box or on the picture was totally uh, different than what the camera came up. Um, so I don't know what the seller is trying to do. If there's no G sensor, there's no night vision. You know, it's just a shell with a camera in it that it wasn't even close to what I had. Um, the one I have was the Togar and that one has G-Sensor, that one has, you know, for 20 more dollars. So I would save up my money. Um, I'm gonna pull up the photo right here that I bought two years ago. And here's that sample right now um, from the new one that I just bought. So this is the tow guard. Uh, here's a video clip. See the difference? This is wide. You can see the dash. You can see the hood. I mean, look. You can see up, uh, uh, you know, the horizon. Um, the other one was zoomed in. And look how clear this one is. I mean, this was not that. This is at 1080, at 30 frames per second. And this is my old one. This is at my, uh, my my older car. But you can tell the difference. Come on. And this this one has um, the same specs as the other one. That's why I bought the other one. It's because I said, oh, you know what? I'm I'm, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a new one for my older car. I got it today. Today is uh, January 31st, 2020, and I was shocked. I was just wow. So here again, here's the one that I bought uh, and I received today. And here is the spec. It's 720. It's supposed to say 1080 at 30 frames, but I highly doubt. Take a look. That's not 30 frames per second. Look how wobbly that thing is. The it, it tries to compensate so I, I, I would highly suggest well, at the end of this video uh, I'll put up a little bonus um, some guy tried to um, some guy made his own lane on the right side and just try to get o um, overtake and then uh, a little fender bender uh, that I caught on my old dash cam um, I'm gonna put it up too at the end of this video so right now you can just see it's just I'm just trying to show you guys how it looks like um, driving around the city sun is actually just right above 
it's almost noon time when I was driving this. And yeah, take a look at that. If somebody hits you on the side, you wouldn't even know who hit you. Um, you wouldn't catch it on film. You know. I mean, look at this. Look how wobbly this thing would be. I mean, it's secure there. I tightened it up. Just the video quality was, the frame rate was just not good. And it skips a frame and... stops and goes, stops and goes, and I'm using a high quality SD card on this one. Same SD card that I use them on all my dash cams. The frame rate, look at that. It would stop and go, stop and go. And Another person. Once again, guys, save your money and buy something else. I'm just trying to expose these sellers or uh, these fake, um, you know, products. And I can't believe Amazon is infiltrated, has been infiltrated by these type of uh, stuff, you know. I mean, if this is good enough for you, then that's fine. But, again, this is not, this is not what, uh, what's described, and this is not, um, you know, you, you, you paid for it, so it's advertised, so you should get what you paid for, right? And here's another shot that's so blurry, I don't, I don't know why it was blurry, but look at that. It was just out of focus. And once again, I have an, a video of this unboxing straight from the package I opened it up and then I installed it you know two hours ago and I tested it out and I was just shocked and disappointed um, again advertises 1080p um, night vision G sensor which does not have all of those um, I have another one of these guys exactly the same but it was a real deal so wow this is like 420 I would believe <laughs> Alright, once again, take a look at this guy. From the right side. I mean, the right lane. Right lane's supposed to be right turn. Right turn only. And this guy just guns it. That's why it's so important having dash cameras. Alright, here we go. This is the one I had two years ago, and this is the footage. This is a little fender bender. But that's why it's so important having dash cameras. Take a look at the quality. A real 1080. 30 frames per second. 
So I let this guy pull out of the gas station. And bam! Gotta watch where you're going. That is so sad. Alrighty guys, well, hope, uh, hope you make that right decision.